Welcome to DRD Technology. As an ANSYS channel partner, we provide simulation capabilities in the areas of fluid dynamics, structural mechanics, electromagnetics, and systems and multi-physics. DRD Technology sells and supports software from ANSYS Incorporated in seven states in the central U.S. We also provide consulting and training for the entire ANSYS software suite. Our corporate mission is to help our clients effectively utilize ANSYS software to the highest degree possible. This video shows how you can identify where a given node number is within your model. We like to identify, say, node number 1000 here in, in this. One thing we can do is we can turn on the node numbers just to see if you could spot that, just to let you know that you can identify nodes this way and you could uh, peruse the model to see the various node locations. But really we want to identify a given node number uh, within the model and to do that we're going to create a name selection and that will then allow it to be plotted. So what we'll do is come up here under model, select name selections, and then from that we are going to the worksheet tab and we are going to add a row and we are going to identify a, a given node we'd like to have and identify that based on the node number and we're going to make it equal to say uh, 1000 and once we generate that it creates a given selection and we can go here to the graphic selection and we can now see where node number 1000 is here in the model if you are in a situation where the node is basically uh, sitting somewhere maybe interior to the model because uh, it does highlight the elements adjacent to that what you can do is go to the view here and go to wireframe mode and then you can see the node also this way so you can see basically how the node is oriented within a given elements nearby. So this is one quick way to identify where a given node is for within your model. And now there is another way to identify where the node number is in your model using what's called an ANSYS extension. Extensions are free software that you can download to the uh, ANSYS environment that uh, you can get from the ANSYS customer portal. And what I'm going to do is install an extension called the Find an Element Information extension and it allows me to actually to plot the node numbers for individual nodes on the screen. So to do that, I'm going to walk you through installing this extension and then doing that, that simple functionality. So, uh, and this extension does a lot more than just identify the nodes, but this is kind of uh, show you how to get there. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm back here to my project page. And inside my project page, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to install an extension. And I'm going to browse over to that extension. And now that I've browsed over to this extension, I can go, come in here and hit open and go ahead and install that. And once it's been installed, now what I need to do is actually have it appear in the menus. So I can come here under Extensions and select Manage Extensions. And under Manage Extensions, you can select to make sure this one gets uh, added to your mechanical environment. And once I do that, when I open up the model, this time around what you'll do is you'll see something different in the menus. So uh, now I get a separate toolbar that comes up that allows me to select individual nodes and elements within the model. So here I've got the uh, previous mesh that we saw earlier. If I'd like to, as I mentioned, this does a lot more than just selecting nodes, but it gives you lots of other functionality. What I can do is select by node number, and I want to make that be exactly node number 1000, so I can just add that here. And once that's done, it will plot there on the screen where node number 1000 is, and you can see that here, and it also gives me the uh, XYZ coordinates of node 1000. And as I mentioned, it does do a lot more than this. I just wanted to kind of introduce this topic to show there is other ways to identify where node number 1000 is and you can explore other functionality that's available within this extension.